Hello and welcome back to Valhalla. In today's episode, we'll be tackling what I believe is the final portion of the game. We unlocked all this extra content after we complete the main story, uh, namely the three days of the prologue, and in the last episode we played through Anna, the demo section. So in today's episode, we'll be playing what's called Start. So <laughs> let's start, start. Sunday, January 1st. Hey, four? Leave Gabby alone. Just let her sleep. Happy New Year. I said Happy New Year. I said ha- I heard you the first time. <laughs> it looks like this takes place, um... So the previous episodes took place as a prologue, but it looks like this, this is an epilogue. Because it's after New Year's and Gabby is here sleeping in our apartment. It's really cute. I heard you the first time. Then answer the first time, would you? Don't be rude. You trespass into my house, and I'm the rude one? I didn't trespass, I just showed up here. That's trespassing. Trespassing implies passing. I just appeared here, thus there was no passing. And how exactly did you do that? Oh, hey, you're talking to me directly. Don't change the subject. I'm so happy you're not pulling that whole telepath crap. You're the one being a telepath. But I can't read minds. I can read words, however. No, what I mean is that I'm not the one reading thoughts, so I'm not... Uh, forget it. Why are you here? I want to wish you a happy new year. So you were bored. Being bored has nothing to do with me wishing... Has nothing to do with me wishing you happy holidays. But it helps. I won't deny that. Still, you deserve some congratulations, Joe. You closed off an old chapter of your life and grew as a person. That always deserves some cheers. In fact, let's make a toast. Mind if I grab a beer? I do, actually. I don't want to clean beer off the floor. You don't know if, that, if that's what'll happen. Trust me, I know. But the toast... It's the thought that counts. Let's just leave it at that. Fine, sheesh. Oh, hey, Kitty. I wonder if Four can see you. With cats, you never know. He might see me, or he might be seeing an interesting speck of death. Hey, Joe, let's play a game. What kind of game? Truth or truth? Don't you mean truth or dare? No, dares with me wouldn't be too fun, I'm guessing. We ask questions to each other, and we can't lie. You'll even get your ever-so-precious dialogue choices. Ain't that nice? The what now? I'm thinking out loud, don't mind me. Right. Will you keep your word on that? I don't lie. Fine, I'll play it with you. Great, you start. Uh, sh Let's start with what are you? Just, what are you? A cute girl. That's not what I meant. Well, I'm also from a Catholic family, although I'm not religious. Not what I meant either. I'm also very gay and like girls a lot. I should have figured you wouldn't take the question seriously. Yeah, but did you think that maybe those are the answers I have? Hmm? There are things I know about myself. Why I am like this is not one of those things. I got out of the hospital, got hit by something, and here I am. Why I'm in this state? Hell if I know. Look, I'm sorry if I sounded rude. You were just your charming usual self, Joe. Well then, my turn. Do you like your boss? I do. No, do you like like your boss? Mm-hmm. Both of you go to a romantic dinner. The mood is right. Do you say you love her? Well, the mood escalated. You're both nude in a room. Do you have sex? Uh, why so hesitant all of a sudden? Because you took me off guard? No, that's not it. Joe, do you really like your boss like that? I do. Okay, let's say you have the chance to have sex with Blondie Sweater Pups. I do it. Blondie Sweater Pups? Oh, that's Alma. <laughs> Do you see the hesitation now? I can't believe you just have a teen crush on your boss. 
It's not a... You like her and love her, but hesitate at the thought of fucking. You admire her and want her with you, but won't go deeper. That's called friendship. Etching on teen crush. Let's just move on to the next question before you short circuit. Um, let's not ask any more logistical questions like what are you? Um, because she doesn't know and I want to get to get to know her more as a person. So do you have any regrets? Don't we all? Any in particular that come to mind? Stuff you really want to fix? My mom. My dad left, so when I died, I was worried about leaving her by herself. Luckily, then came Becky. But then Becky feared she might be hurting my mom with her presence. I guess I have to thank you for that. Becky fixed her relationship with my mom. Lynette's mom was also able to close her chapter too. And it was all thanks to you speaking with her. Lynette? Did we talk with someone named Lynette? Wait, was Lynette the girl who came into the bar with the one who was like in her rebellious stage? No. I don't... Hmm. Okay, yeah, I guess not. I, I just looked it up and I don't I don't think I got a hit on that, so... Well, it, it would have been cool, but I guess not. Oh, what am I saying? Lynette died. I'm such an idiot. Sorry, guys. But... Yeah, with Becky being closer to my mom, I can't really think of anything else. Just the usual scars, the stuff we used to grow up. The things we can't fix. Say, Joe, did you lie to that Gabby girl? About what? About staying with her, how you wouldn't leave her alone and all that. I didn't. She's asleep, she can't hear me. You can be honest with me. Alright, I'll tell you the truth. Hmm? Just between us, I didn't lie. <laughs> the time I spent with Lenore was also time I spent with Gabby. Since Lenore was pretty much the, the one that raised her, she was always there. We'd play, we'd read together, watch TV. I don't know, she felt like a little sister. Or a daughter. But one of the things that hurt me the most when Gabby reappeared was her hate. It's never nice when the one you love suddenly hates you with reason. So, yeah, why the hell would I lie about that? It's a relief to hear that. She's cute. She'll grow into a fine woman. She'll grow into a fine lady. Was her sister as cute? Lenore was in a league of her own. Something I must see then. Any other questions? This feels just unnecessary. <laughs> um, have any hobbies? That seems a little too, like, basic. Let's do what do you like. So, what do you like? Girls, boys are icky. It's not a wrong answer, but not the one I was looking for. So, likes in general? Mm-hmm. Well, I like pizza with lots of mushrooms. I like stockings that go up to the thigh. I like long hair, even though I prefer to have it short. I like small animals, but I like really big ones more. I really like flowery perfumes. I don't like stuffed animals, as weird as that sounds. I like tall girls, or at least those taller than me. I also like the smell of freshly cut grass. I like the sound of a cat's purr. I like to laugh and to make people laugh. And of course, I like you, or I wouldn't be here. That's a concise list. Speaking of likes, do you like what you see? Come again. Do you like what you see? If you saw me on the street, would you hit on me? I doubt it. That's a lie, and you know it. I wouldn't. Liar, I'm hot. No one's denying that, but I wouldn't. Why not? Well, for starters, I'm not one to hit on strangers. Let alone hit on a girl in a fucking sailor uniform. Like you wouldn't fuck a girl in a sailor uniform. Do you mean... I mean that in any way that phrase could be taken as. Let me rephrase this then. Would I be able to make you look at me so hard you couldn't avert your gaze? Yes. Happy? I am. So much in fact that I'll let you ask something else. Well, you're yawning. I sure as hell ain't boring, so it must be because of the hour. 
I'll let you be for now. Hey, Anna. Uh, you have a happy new year, too. And if you want to bother me, I do get bored in here from time to time. Uh, yeah, that. You call me by my name. On second thought, don't be like that. I'll take your offer and pester you some more later. Hell, I'll do it even if you say nothing. Oh dear. Hey Joe, can you open the door for me? Just disappear like how you came in. Come on, humor me. Alright, fine. There. Thank you. Bye, Joe. Take care. Sometimes I wonder if this is a sign to stop drinking. Are you drunk now? A bit. All right, so I guess that's the end end um, of Valhalla. Jeez, I don't... I mean, I already went through all like the sappy, emotional stuff when I finished the main story of the game. But seriously, this has quickly grown into one of my favorite games of all time. It's currently sitting nicely at number five. Um, I'm really, really excited at the prospect of a sequel, which I believe is postponed indefinitely. I don't know if that means it's canceled necessarily, but I'm looking forward to it nonetheless. I just really fell in love with the cyberpunk genre, the characters, and the story in this game. It reminded me a lot about Coffee Talk, and that's something I really liked. So yeah, I'm going to be playing a lot of this game in my own time, getting all the dialogue options, and just, just exploring everything that there is to explore in this game, because it's bigger than it seems. Uh, but yeah, I'm actually going to just load a game just for the heck of it, um, just so we can have something in the background. Um, oh, we can actually end on Every Day is Night, which is my favorite song in the game. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for supporting this series and for tuning into the episodes. It really means the world that I could play this game through with someone. Um, because it was really enjoyable. Um, fingers crossed for that sequel. Um, but yeah, even if the sequel doesn't come out, I'll be playing this game to death in my own time. So yeah, we will see what comes next. Um, I might... I'm currently looking into this other cyberpunk game. I might be playing it, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, there's other series going on right now regardless. So I'm sure you're, if you guys really missed the series, you can tune into one of those. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'll see you in one of the other series. But until then, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you then.